Chandra Power and you are watching me on my YouTube channel as a magic with such instructions. As I promised you that next video will be on the tables. So friends, I have come up with the tables. I promise you that there is you will say that there is no need to learn the table in future. Right? Some of my friends they call me and they said that are you going to use from any other YouTube channel and that uh, trick you are going to give? Friends, I am challenging you that my trick what I am going to give you today it is nowhere on the any YouTube channel. So let's start with our today's trick that is tables and that also without learning. Students, now in this my trick there are two systems are there, two different ways are there, right? So here we see first in the at unit place you have either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These are the digits at the unit place. Okay? So here we are going to work for these digits, 5 to 9 digits separately and 0 to 1 separately. Okay? So first we will go with this trick. Okay? Then I will come to this. First I will tell you this that 5 is the unit place. If you have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then how to do it? So let's start it. How to do this? So let's take one example. I'll go for the big example. Suppose let's take 58. I want to write the table of 58. So right here, 5 and 8. Okay? Right here, 5 and 8. So here, what is this digit 8? Subtract it from 10. After subtracting 8 by 10, I get 2. 10 minus 8 is how much? 2. So you subtract continuously 10 times 2. I repeat again, 8 is there or it is closer to 10, it is closer to 10. So subtract 10 minus 8 and see what is you are getting 2. So here at the unit place, what you do? You subtract 2 continuously. How check? 8 minus 6, it, uh, 8 minus 2, it is 6. 6 minus 2, it is 4. 4 minus 2, it is 2. 2 minus 2, it is 0. Okay? Next, I have to do it 10 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is over. Still more 5 times is remaining. So 0 minus 2. But 0 minus 2, is it possible? No. 0 minus 2, we cannot do it. So it will be in the negative form. So, but what I'll do, I'll borrow. And in subtraction, what we are doing, when it's not possible to subtract, we are taking borrow. So what I'll do, I'm going for this number, next number. So whatever number is coming here, I'm borrowing from it. Okay? Please understand this concept here that what I'm going to do. Here some one digit is going to come as I'm going for the 58 table. So here some number will be there. Right, right now I don't know what digit will be that. Okay, right now I don't know what digit it will be. But there would be some digit. Okay, so from that I am going to take one number here and here it will be. So when I am borrowing, so this will become 10. So this 10, 10 minus 2, subtraction 2 we are doing. So 10 minus 2 will be 8. What is this? Now here whatever number will come, from that we have to subtract to 1. Okay, remember here, why we are going to subtract? Because what we have done here, we have given 1. For this 0, 0 minus 2 was not possible. Okay, I am taking some time here. Please understand again, but this is the only twist here. 0 minus 2 was not possible. That's why I have taken 0. My, uh, I have borrowed 1 from here. So this 0 will become 10. See, 0 is there. When we are borrowing, it becomes 10. And 10 minus 2 is 8. Right? So that 8 I have written. So what has happened here? When I have taken borrow, this becomes 0 and this becomes 10, right? So same here, whatever digit you will get here, you have to subtract 1 from it. So I have put the dash over there and I have put minus 1. So it will remind me while doing this that I have to subtract 1 here. Get it clear? Okay. Then next 8, 8 minus 2 is 6. Okay. 6 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. In this year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times done. Normally, 0 is coming. 
at the tens place. Now because every time zero is coming, so whenever he gets the zero, check out whether you have done ten times or not. Okay. Now I'll go for here. So you have understood what I have done here. I have done here minus two subtraction of two. I have done at the ones place. Okay. Then again I'll go for five. Now here five is there. Okay. So here what you have to do next? What is the successor of five? What comes after five? Five successor is six. So here you have to add six. What you have to do? You have to add six here. Here what we have done? Here we have subtracted it by two. Why? Because here it was closer to ten. It is closer to ten. So ten minus eight becomes two. So I have subtracted two. And at the tens place, what I have to do? I have to add the successor of the tens place. So here five is there. So five successor is six. So I add six at the tens place. So let's see what happens. So five plus six is eleven. Eleven plus six is seventeen. Seventeen plus six is twenty-three. Twenty-three plus six is twenty-nine. Twenty-nine plus three is Twenty-nine plus six is thirty-five, and thirty-five here I have already borrowed, so minus one I have to do. So twenty-nine plus six I am getting thirty-five. So thirty-five minus one it will be thirty-four. Correct? Got it? Understood why we have done here minus one? Because previously in the while doing the ones place I have borrowed here. So that's why twenty-nine plus six I am getting thirty-five, and from thirty-five I have subtracted one. Okay, now thirty-four plus six, it is forty. Forty plus six, forty-six. Forty-six plus six, it will be fifty. Okay, forty-six. Then, sorry, here fifty-two. Fifty-two and fifty-two plus six is fifty-eight. Got it here? I will repeat again what we have seen here. Six plus five, eleven. Eleven. Seven plus six, seventeen. Seventeen plus six, twenty-three. Twenty-three plus six, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine plus six, thirty-five. Thirty-five and one minus I have subtracted because I have borrowed here. And thirty-four plus six is forty. Forty plus six is forty-six. Forty-six plus six is fifty-two. And fifty-two plus six is fifty-eight. In this way, our fifty-eighth table is ready. Students, I have not used. Any table here. I have not used any table here. As I am explaining, is taking time. But mind it that when you will do it with the fast calculations, your answers will be very fast. You will get within one minute. You will be able to solve this table. Okay. I'll solve one more example. Some of you might be having doubts, so I'll solve one more problem for you. Now let's take one more example. Say suppose seventy nine. Okay, we'll take seventy nine. Okay, so now nine is closed here. So what I'll do? Nine, I will. I'll subtract one because ten minus nine is what? One. Ten minus nine is what? One. So I'll subtract one here. So nine minus one, eight. Eight minus one, seven. Seven minus one, six. Six minus one is five. Five minus one is four. Four minus one is three. Three minus one is two. Two minus one is one. And one minus one is zero. Count this ten times or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zero is always at the tenth place. Okay. Sometimes between also it may come, but tenth place always zero will be there. Okay. Then here now what we have to do? We have to take the successor of seven. What is the successor of seven? Next number of seven is eight. So I'll add eight here. Keep in mind, at the ones place we have to do subtraction, and at the tens place we have to do the addition. Right? So here, eight plus seven, fifteen, fifteen, fifteen plus eight, fifteen plus eight, twenty-three, twenty-three plus eight, thirty-one, thirty-one plus eight, thirty-nine, thirty-nine plus eight. Thirty-nine plus eight, it will be forty-eight. Sorry, forty-seven. Thirty-nine plus eight is forty-seven. Forty-seven plus eight, it will be fifty-five. Fifty-five plus eight, it will be 
63 63 plus 8 it will be 71 and 71 plus 8 it will be 79 in this way our table is ready i hope you have understood and keep in mind this is only for what when we have 5 6 7 8 9 places okay at unit place when we have 5 6 7 8 9 you do the in this way okay easily you will get 5 6 7 8 9 you will easily get it okay one more example we will do it suppose let's take 86 okay 6 already we have done we will go with the 8 so 86 will do it okay 86 next we will go with the 86 okay now 6 is here so what I have to do 10 minus 6 what I have to do 10 minus 6 how much it is 4 so I subtract here 4 10 minus 6 here 4 so here 6 is there so 6 minus 4 I will just erase this so there should be no confusion 6 minus 4 is 2 now 2 minus 4 is not possible 2 minus 4 is not possible so I borrow keep in mind borrow we will not take it from here we are working for the next place that's why we will do it here ok so if you take it here your answer will be wrong ok don't take it here don't take it here now 2 minus 4 not possible so I borrowed one so it becomes at 12 12 minus 4 is 8 so I will put here minus 1 so when I come here I have I will click it that I have to subtract from 1 subtract by 1 ok then 8 minus 4 is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 so we have done 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times now again 0 minus 4 is not possible so again I will borrow ok I am telling again and again if you are doing it here students it is not going to work ok you have to borrow from the next place ok so here 0, 0 will become 10 and 10 minus 4 is 6 6 minus 4 is 6 minus 4 is 2 again 2 is here so 12 12 minus 4, 8, 8 minus 4, 4, 4 minus 4, 0. So now you see that it has 10 times the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we have got it here 10 times. Now what I have to do? Here 8 is there. What is the successor of 8? That is 9. So I will add here 9. Keep in mind, once place we have to do the subtraction and at the tenth place we have to do the addition ok so here 9 plus 8 it is 17 17 plus 8 7, 9 plus 8 is 17 17 plus 9 26 but I have to subtract here so it will be 25 25 plus 9 34 34 plus 9 it will be 43 43 just this minus 1 I have clicked it I forgot to write it here dash when you put immediately put the minus 1 ok so 43 plus 9 it will be 52 ok but 52 is here and minus 1 is here so minus 1 means it will be 51 understood here 43 plus 9 against 52 but 52 as it a dash I have put and minus 1 is there because we have given borrow there so this it will become how much minus 1 that is 51 52 minus 1 is 51. So 51 plus 9, it is 60. 60 plus 9, 69. And this minus 1, 68. Okay. 68 plus 9, it will be 77. Okay. And 77 plus 9 is 86. In this way, we get the table of 86. Students, mind it, it is very easy. No need to learn the tables. And this we have done. We have done only for what places in which we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You try it for other numbers, okay? If you have any problem, you can comment me that we are not getting the tables, I will help you out. But don't make any mistakes. Again, I am saying whenever you are getting the zero, means wherever you are getting the less number, you are borrowing. Borrowing you do for the next place. And put minus 1 for your reminder that you have to subtract it. Okay, if this in this way it is done, it will never be wrong. Once place you have to subtract, and how you have to subtract? Yeah, whatever at once place you have subtracted from 10. 
and then that number should be subtracted continuously okay and at the tens place what you have to do the number what you have got here at the tens place take the successor of it and add continuously automatically you will get the tables i hope it's very easy okay and friends if you feel my trick is worthful then please click on the thumb button subscribe my channel by clicking the bell icon to get my notification of the next video also friends share to your friends so that maximum students will get the benefit of it thank you for watching my video